Matthew, seven grains of salt. Dr. Brown, are you defending the Bible or the Talmud? After writing down your debate quotes, I had to ask this question. Read the Bible with first century ears, you said, and the Bible's out of context. Have an even standard for both the Talmud and the Bible. Hmm. Well, all I know is in Proverbs 30, it says every word of God proves true. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him and do not add to his words, lest he rebuke you and you be found a liar. It even says in Revelations, I warn anyone who hears the words of prophecy of this book, if anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the, the book of this prophecy, God will take away his share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in this book. So you cannot defend both of these books. Will you defend the Talmud or will you defend the Bible? The Bible, well, it's a collection of writings divinely inspired by God and written by men moved by the Holy Spirit. It is the true word of God. The Talmud, well, the Talmud is the holiest book to the Orthodox Jewish rabbis and is compiled of oral laws, teachings, and customs that are derived from Babylon. It's filled with Jewish mysticism, Kabbalah, false teachings, the rabbis also regard the writings of the Zohar, Maimonides, which are mixed with Islam and science. Their perverse teachings, rituals, genocides, and blasphemies against Jesus are just a few of the writings in these books that I can explain in brief. They believe in supremacy and that we can never attain the same level as the Jews who have the spark. We're considered, considered animals. If you know anything about the Noahide laws, well, those are for anyone who is not Jewish and you will either have to accept them in the future or you will die by the guillotine. It's already in the law in the States. You can watch my other videos on either the Noahide laws or the burning of the Talmud to get more information if you'd like. These are very dangerous writings in the Talmud. You can research for yourselves. That's just a brief note of what the Talmud is. Then he mentions the Jewishness of the New Testament. Such a Jewish message. Wow, I don't understand. Um, I won't go into the symbolism of this flag, but I will say that I love all people. And I believe that Jesus came for everyone. It's not just for the Jews. It is not just for a certain people or a nation. He came for the whole world. Jesus came for the whole world. And he even said to his disciples, teach all nations. And then it also says that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. And his covenant promises are for all those who are in Christ. For anyone who's accepted Jesus into their heart, this belongs to you. We have Abraham's seed. We are heirs to the promise. It's not just a certain person or the Jewish people. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And even Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So, Mr. Brown... You must decide, is it going to be the Talmud, which is the word of man, or is it going to be the Bible, the word of God? Because you cannot, you cannot serve two masters. You cannot defend both books. Well, that's my question to Mr. Brown. I hope he sees this and one day responds and I'll have to try and share it with him. More videos to come. God bless. Stay vigilant. Crazy times, seven grains of salt.